Epcot is gonna be completely packed today. I can tell because we've been waiting to get into the parking lot for about 10 minutes already, and I think we have probably another 10 minutes of waiting ahead of us. So uh, let's see how we do today. Come along with us. And in the end, it took about 30 minutes to get through the Epcot parking toll, which is by far the longest I've ever had to wait for that. All right, we parked and we're outside the gates of Epcot, but there's a lot of people here waiting. Luckily, the pass holder entrance doesn't have a very long line, so we're gonna use that. Usually the pass holder entrance doesn't make any difference, but today it makes a huge difference. Since only the top tier pass isn't blocked today, there aren't many of us. All right, we know Epcot is very, very busy, but one way to tell is to look at the wait time for Spaceship Earth, which we are approaching right now. A 75 minute standby wait for Spaceship Earth is about as high as I've ever seen in recent memory. 35 minutes would be a lot, so this is a lot, a lot. So that's a very long wait for Spaceship Earth, so we should expect a very, very busy day today. It's only 11 a.m., and peak time's usually, I would say, like 2 p.m., 1 p.m. or so. Uh, so we'll make the best of it and see how we do. We start in World Celebration. We say hello to Walt the Dreamer, which actually has a very short line for the photo. Then we check out the rest of World Celebration. I could see myself coming to this part of Epcot to get some work done if I had to. There's plenty of seating and there are actually outlets here as well. All right, so we decided we're just going to walk around World Showcase a little bit. Uh, the festival booth only just opened, so it's not super crowded here. Uh, and we're just gonna walk around and enjoy. As we stroll into the Italy Pavilion, I noticed that there's a big lighting rig in the middle of the plaza here. I've never seen that and I'm not sure what it's for, perhaps a private event or something. If you know, let me know in the comments. All right, it's time for lunch, so let's grab some pizza at Via Napoli. Via Napoli is one of our favorite restaurants in the whole Disney World Resort. Our lunch is a bit early, so it's not that crowded here yet. To drink, I get the strawberry aqua fresca, and then for food, I get the pepperoni pizza. Mine was a bit greasier than usual, but Andrew was nice enough to share some of his white pizza with me, and that was much more what I had in mind. But I was still happy with our meal. During the different Epcot festivals, they have these scavenger hunts where you can find a character in all the different countries. Right now, during the festival of the holidays, it's Olaf, so we're on the lookout to find little Olaf characters in all the different countries. We start our search in earnest in the China Pavilion, where we find Olaf with some lanterns. Then in Norway, we find Olaf up by the waterfall with some straw decorations. So that's China and Norway checked off our list. In Mexico, we find him up in a balcony with some poinsettias. All right, so now that we've found three Olafs, we decided we're gonna take this a little bit more seriously. So we're gonna go pick up the scavenger hunt map uh, so that we can get that filled out. So this is what it looks like. And there are stickers on the back for each of the different holiday traditions. So we continue our journey searching around Canada. There we find Olaf with a gingerbread man. So we get a sticker for that. Then we continue on to the UK where we find Olaf with holiday crackers. In France, we find Olaf with a Yule log. At L'Chaim Holiday Kitchen, we find Olaf with a dreidel. Next stop, Morocco. Then in Morocco, we find him with some olives. In Japan, Olaf is with some mochi. All right, American Adventure next. In the America Pavilion, he's with a Kwanzaa Kanara. All right. And then he's also with some Christmas carols. We found Olaf in Italy by the water with Panatona. Next stop, Germany. And then finally, in Germany, he's with candy canes. And with that, the 2023 Holiday Tradition Expedition is complete. I show my completed card for a prize, which is an Olaf magnet. It's nothing fancy, but the experience was fun. Then we head over to the creation shop to check out the newest merch and to see if we can find the Play in the Park blind pin boxes. They have tons of items in this new line of merchandise called Play in the Park, and the design is really charming. They've got mugs, apparel, and even snow globes. But I want the pins, and I can't find them here. No big deal, I know one more spot we can check later. After that, we go to Connections Eatery to try the Baumkuchen, which is a German cake that's made on a spit, and you can even see where they make it here at Connections. This is my first time trying it, and I really like it a lot. It's not super sweet, and the texture is nice and dense. And then, as if we didn't see enough Olaf today, we hopped onto Frozen Ever After to say hello to him, Sven, Anna, and Kristoff in this fun and popular little boat ride. We had a nice time here today at Epcot and decide to wrap things up. So we head back towards the front of the park, but on the way out, we stop into Pin Traders, where I found just what I was looking for earlier. 
keep an eye out for an unboxing soon. Okay, thank you so much for spending the day with us at Epcot. I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and comment if you want to see more like it. Bye, I'll catch you in the parks.